So before the video even starts, I wanted to thank or give a happy birthday out to Jacob Redshield. Today's his birthday, and he's a long-time viewer of my streams and of my walkthroughs. I know, I know what you're gonna say, Ben, start your streams back up. I will, soon, alright? I promise you. But, today I want to be talking about something that happened at King's Isle Live yesterday. And I'm making sure all the screenshots that I show you in today's video will be linked in the description down below. Go check the people out that will be linked. And also, go follow me on Twitter if you have a Twitter. Uh, I'll, I'll have it linked in the description down below, too. But, besides the fact, uh, one of the things that was asked on King's Isle Live, because if you don't know, if you don't watch King's Isle Live, I don't blame you. One of the things that they do for King's Isle Live always is ask questions on Twitter. They're like, oh, tweet us your questions at King's Isle Live or something like that. And people ask, what one thing would you add in the next update or something like that i'm paraphrasing here and tom one of the redevelopers said the hairdresser the customization theme screenshot insert here of what they're talking about and this is fan art by the way this is like what people want it to look like but everyone kind of freaked out on twitter and youtube because this is something that should have been added in the game years ago i'm talking about maybe like when dragon spy was in the max world because people always, I remember even having friends that used to delete the characters when they got to max level because they got the wrong type of hairstyle they wanted. So, this is something that needed to happen. And everyone's kind of glad. I'm super happy that it's happening. And there's a few things that I do want to point out. Is he said few updates. So, it's probably not going to happen in the next update or two. I'm probably going to look at maybe in 2018's updates it may happen. It probably, I, I think it will happen in 2018's updates, if anything. Maybe if we get lucky, maybe the fall updates, because the fall update, it tends to be a pretty big update. I'm pretty sure Imperial will come out in the fall. Besides the fact, there's a few things I do want to talk about in this video. Alright. One of them is a concern of mine. Alright. And... I just want to get this out of the way to get you guys' feedback to see if they will mess this up too and if you guys have the similar thoughts as me. But I'm super nervous that King's Isle will make this stuff overpriced. Now, I think one of the things that they should do and not a lot of people are talking about is make it a full customization as a bundle. So maybe, like, let's say changing your hair is like 100 crowns. Maybe changing your name is like 100 crowns. Maybe, like, whatever. If you want to do like a full customization thing, Maybe like spend like 500 crowns as a bundle to get like one full sleep. I don't know, that would be cool. But I'm scared that when they do implement this, that they will make this overpriced. And it's something that I'm nervous about, because look at the crown shop, alright? Let's just roll in the crown shop here. This pet, this toy gallon, which I made a video about, I don't know if it's still up, I may have just taken it down because it wasn't really that good. Uh, this toy gallon right here is the same place as this mount. And this mount... It's actually 10 times more useful than this pet. But somehow, in King Zawa's logic, the pet is worth just as much as that mount. Besides the fact, I'm just kind of nervous that they will overplace stuff and people will be too upset when they do overplace stuff. I'm hoping maybe like 100 crowns or maybe 250 crowns at most. I don't think it should be past that. But it's King Zawa's game, not mine. I'm just going to have to wait and see what they do. And also... If you guys have been a long time player of the game, you will remember back in maybe, I think, 2010, 2011-ish. This store right here, the lights, used to be turned on. And no one knew what was going to go inside there. People always speculated that there was going to be something added in that house or in that store. And we never got closure on it. And they turned the lights off after like a year or so, having them on. And I hope... That when they do implement this, this hair salon thing, customization thing, whatever you want to call it, I hope that they put it in here so we get some closure on what was happening behind this door. I don't know if I can find a screenshot of the lights being turned on. If I can, I'll gradually insult them here. So, yeah, I'm just kind of wanting to do your guys' opinion on this subject. And, yeah, so thank you for watching. If you haven't go see my other videos from yesterday and the day before, go check them out. And also, thank you for watching. I don't... I know they don't say this as much as I should, but I do appreciate you guys. So thank you for watching. And as always, guys, I'll see you guys tomorrow.